It's a little embarrassing to say, but I don't get that Christmas morning feeling that much anymore. But waiting for the Dark Souls 2 beta to flip on definitely made me question my stomach's gravity. I'll try not to gush too much, but this beta was pretty great. Unlike the E3 demo, I felt like I actually had enough time to get comfortable, peek and poke around, though at the beginning I felt like I was simultaneously rushing and trying to breathe it all in. So here are a quick few thoughts. Uh, the shopkeeper near the first bonfire reminded me of the junk lady from the movie The Labyrinth. Uh, I thought her name sounded like they were trying maybe a bit too hard, but generally the character design seemed cool. It's a small thing, but I absolutely love destroying the shutters in the dark room and letting the light flood in. I was taking a lot of pot shots from the archers hidden across the way, and it was actually pretty alarming. Um, couldn't really see what was happening, not enough space to run in a serpentine pattern as it were. Uh, but once the lights were on, it was easier to see what was going on. Uh, the secret passages I found weren't illusionary this time around, and have to be triggered without a prompt. I actually got stuck down there in the mushroom cave and had to quit out to make a new character. Also, there was a chest that had a poison trap on it, and it kind of reminded me of the Iron Maidens from the uh, from Demon Souls Tower of Latria. And it seems there's now a stat for disarming traps, which could really add a new element to the game, though I'm not quite sure how they're going to actually implement it, or if it will just be like, a chance to disarm, or if there's going to be some sort, of thing, some sort of mechanic more tied to it. Exploration was fun, the forest felt open and dangerous in particular, with multiple paths leading to different boss encounters, uh, with lots of ways to end up at the Skeleton Lord. Uh, there was one point where I saw the big Seath guy kind of bang on a tree, and then I saw one of the little prisoner guys wake up. I'm not sure if maybe I was just so close he woke up, or if it was some sort of trigger, but it seemed cool. Uh, also, early jumping. Uh, jumping's a lot easier to do now with the L3, clicking in an L3, and it offers, you know, the usual rewards and different paths to go, and uh, felt more integral to the game. I'm not the biggest combat guy, though I love anything with shields. The game does feel a lot faster, and those who are worried about whiffing on every backstab can rest easy. Seems you just need to land the hit, and then the stab animation will play out. Uh, magic still seems kind of supplemental, I didn't play a mage for that long, uh, but you, now you can replenish your charges with some items, so maybe it will be more viable and you won't have to worry about running out or metering them out so much. Uh, life gems are hugely useful, and hopefully from can balance the heal since they seem to drop fairly often. I'll save my networking thoughts for the podcast, Demon Talk, which will go up this Saturday at 7pm Pacific, featuring a bunch of guys talking over each other enthusiastically about the beta.